Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode here on the Iron Man Profile. Today, we're going to be completing the Floor 5 collection, the Livid collection. We're going to be getting our hands on that beautiful Diamond Livid head, as well as 25 Juicy Skyblock XP, and honestly spending a lot of coins on some various things along the way. So if you guys are excited for all that, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and without further ado, let's jump right into it. Super quickly though, if you do ever find yourself checking on the Hypixel store, whether it be for an upcoming fire sale, maybe the seasonal bundles, or maybe you just need some Skyblock gems for some booster cookies, don't forget to use my career code on checkout, that is code Zach, just like my name, Z-A-C-H. If you type that in on checkout, you'll actually save 5% on your purchase on the Hypixel store. It's a great way for myself in the channel it allows me to keep doing what i'm doing and also um yeah it's just a lot of fun so um yeah appreciate everyone using my code you guys are amazing without further ado let's jump right into it okay so about like three minutes ago they rolled the community center refurbishment city project we haven't had a city project in a little while i'm trying to remember what the last one it was but i'm honestly kind of drawing a blank but either way we have a new one and um this is actually really interesting i think we're gonna see changes basically to the mayor system based on the little bit of like writing that is in some of the descriptions. So basically the first one is saying building materials are required to expand the community center. Second one, what are we doing with all the sand? Third one, the community center will now feature a moving clock. And fourth one is fun. The crew setting up the upgrades and the overall community uh, projects as community center refurbishment, upgrade the community center to celebrate changes to the mayor system. So we don't actually know what that will be yet, but whether it's new mares or changes of perks or something along those lines, we'll honestly just kind of have to wait and see. But if you're wondering what you need to donate, it's going to be every day 320 enchanted clay, 160 enchanted sand, 2 enchanted redstone blocks, 8 enchanted gold blocks, and then 2 enchanted sugar cane. So not terrible. Make sure you do your contributions. If you do 20, you'll get a memento. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to see what this comes with. So we've gotten a little bit of an update since I recorded that clip yesterday. I recorded that clip basically after finishing yesterday's video. And since I've done some M5, we're going to get into that though. We're going to be completing the collection today. But... The city project, we got like a little uh, forum post basically saying, hello, a new city project has released for an upgrade to the community center. Maybe Clark Seraphine can afford more ballot papers now. The mayor seem to be busy and preparing something great. Perhaps new mayor perks are in store. Stay tuned to find out, and this update will be on alpha before release. So right off the bat, I'm going to be honest, this is like the new uh, community center build, I'm assuming. Something along those lines. They also gave us a screenshot in the forum post if you guys haven't seen it yet. That looks uh, like this is going to be the community center. I don't know what this is yet. This is really interesting. And uh, I think it looks pretty sick. I don't know what this building is, but I'm, I'm here for it. Either way, I love these city projects. This should be a lot of fun. And assuming I actually do my contributions in time, I will actually be top 200 for the memento, which is pretty exciting. And then um, also, I'm in the middle of building a new PC. So... Hopefully I'm actually on time to be able to do that, but yeah, just bought a new PC yesterday and I can't wait. So that's good. That's something I'm working on, like on the side, uh, in between videos today, but yeah, we're going to hop into some M5 and let's finally complete this collection and get some Skyblock XP today. So a little update on where we're actually at for the boss collection. If we go and take a look, I'm at 963 out of a thousand. So I was doing some yesterday kind of without recording. And, um, as you can see, here's our M5 runs that I did yesterday. We did... Quite a large bit, but I think I need like what 16, 17 more, uh, 18 at most, and then we're all done, which is like insane. I think I need 17, 18 more, something like that. But yeah, should be pretty easy to get done today. Should be a lot of fun. Hopefully, we can get a third master star on the way, man. I just haven't seen any. And then obviously, the more Legion books to get, the better. I got one here, and I got a recom. I also have another recom in the chest I just didn't buy. I left the run really quickly to go and basically just hop in to uh, see what the community project was, but I'll have to go through all these chests. Like, most of these chests I haven't opened yet. As you can see, like, the these aqua-colored ones, those are the only chests I've opened. So I have a lot to open, but, man, I'm excited, and honestly, I can't wait for the community project stuff. Like, whenever there's, like, an update looming, man, it's just so much fun to play the game. I can't wait. Okay, we are finally hopping into some uh, M5 runs today. I, I need to go over here. Where am I? Where am I going? Also, yeah, my better map mod is, like, Bugged. Apparently, I need to like update chat triggers, maybe, but also other people are having problems with the mod itself. So I, I don't know what I'm supposed to do, but yeah, it'll, it'll have to get fixed at some point. But yeah, basically, just gonna try and clear. But yeah, as I was saying earlier, I got a new PC and uh, I'm building it. So I got it all like custom. And uh, so yeah, been building it uh, basically like the last. 12 hours and um my goodness this thing is gonna be such a beast bro so as you can see right now like 
I don't know if this tra how well this translates into on uh, video, but like in game right now, your boy is uh, laggy. Like all my movements just feel laggy. Like it doesn't feel sharp, and that's how it feels in like other games too. The PC I've been using right now, though, I've been recording on this PC for um, years, like actual years, which is kind of crazy to think about. So. It's definitely time for an upgrade, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I've been putting it off for a long time because if you guys don't know, PCs are expensive, but uh, you code Zach users are insane. So your boy can actually go ahead and um, buy a new PC, which is pretty exciting. So uh, yeah, thank you so much to everyone who uses code Zach on a regular basis. You guys are amazing. I do greatly appreciate it. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm building like this insane custom PC right now. and. It's gonna be so dope. Like it's got like a forty ninety. Like it's it, it's it's just insane, man. I, I I'm I'm hyped. So uh, I'll have to give you guys some more stats uh, on it later. But uh, for the time being, let me actually focus up because my brain has been off this entire run. Like talking and playing does not. I'm better than every clip you guys see. I swear. Talking and playing just doesn't work. Okay, so first little session, I think I got like 10 runs. And I also did a regular floor five just to even out the um, run count because it was kind of driving me crazy, but. Yeah, how many runs did we get? I think we did 10 runs exactly, so not too shabby, but we are currently, I think, 10 runs away, or sorry, 9 runs away from uh, being done with M5. Uh, I mean, unless I need to go back for things, which I will, but for the collection portion, we're going to be done, which is so exciting. So, unfortunately, the party I was in, um, everyone had to go, so looking for a new party, and hopefully we can grind through these last 9 runs. Get a 25 Skyblock XP and uh, call the day. Man, I'm, I'm hyped. I've been wanting to get this done for a long while. The one thing, though, that I do need to decide before I'm actually done with all these runs and open these chests is do I want to buy overload books? And I think I should. I really should because I plan on going for more terms. I, know, I see your guys' comments. Don't worry. And I, I want to do it myself, too. And overload five on the term is uh, pretty useful. So I don't really have any other overload books saved up. So I've I, like I've passed through a lot of overload books over the course of like all these like 50 so runs or whatever So I just need to go through and when I see an overload book That's a good price I actually go ahead and buy it But there's like books of things just like tucked in all these runs like there's legion books I didn't even buy yet a recom I saw so stuff like that I just need to actually buy some overload books. I think I, th I think it'll be worth it I'll save some myself some time in the future because you need 16 of them to get overload five so the more i buy now honestly the better it just sucks that they're a mil each especially when i don't know when i'll be using them and your boy's like slightly on the broke side not gonna lie like all that farming and i'm somehow down money how does it make sense <laughs> i think my favorite part about m5 has to be that everyone chills while the mage and the tank fight for their lives to finish off the run and uh they do a good job they do a good job uh yeah so <laughs> pretty chill eventually when i have a claymore i'll i'll, tr I'll try and do my part but uh hey Till then, the boss fight in M5 is free for me, man. And uh, if it's free, then it is for... See, there's an overload. So I'll probably have to buy that afterwards. I'm honestly not opening too many chests while we run through. Um, also, let me go ahead and clear up a little bit of inventory space. Fills up quick when you just run around clearing rooms, basically. There we go. And let's hop into it. Make sure I don't go into M6 or M7 by accident from habit. But, uh, yeah, there we go. I think every, like, dungeon player has that problem, too. Always clicking on the wrong floor. Like, I'm, I'm always worried I'm gonna do it every single run. But, hey, we are four runs away. We are so, so close. The end is near, uh, as some might say. And, uh, where is this mini boss at, bro? Hello? Oh, there he is. Uh, I was gonna say, I did a whole lap and couldn't find him. This is our fourth last M5 run for the time being, and then I I, I literally think I'll end up spending like 20 plus mil opening these chests. I've passed so many Legion, Overload books, a Recom, like, I have a lot to open and go through, but uh, it'll be worth it. It'll be worth it. So, uh, either way, all things we need to stock up on, especially Legions. I didn't realize how, like, down bad I am on Legion books. Speaking of which, there's another one that we'll have to open. Add another mil to the tally. But three more runs to go, and then we have maxed the uh, Floor 5 boss collection, or Livid collection, which is kind of insane. This is going to be our third one maxed, which is super nice. Somebody I've been working on in between, kind of. I haven't really even recorded any of this, but I went from 250 to a little over 400 on the uh, Floor 2 collection. Kind of just like passively working on those whenever I'm like really bored. So um, yeah, eventually we'll, we'll get those done. Um, yeah, but floor one and floor two, I can kind of do like solo by myself. So I thought, why not? And then 
Like, floor three, I kind of want to do S runs just to grind uh, first Master Stars. Like, I still need some for my equipment, for example. Um, actually, no. Oh, yeah, I need I need one more for my equipment, actually. So, yeah, I've gotten a few, but still need, still need more. And I, I wouldn't mind having, like, a stockpile of, like, all the different stars and stuff like that. So, I feel like that would be super useful. But, yeah, just going to kind of keep on chugging through these runs. We're almost done, which is super exciting. I can't wait to be done. And, uh, and then we're going to be... Yeah, I don't even know what I want to grind next. Probably powder grinding or back to a little bit of farming. There's there's a lot of things still to do, but hey, one thing at a time, one thing at a time. So yeah, let me go ahead and uh, finish up these runs and uh, then we can get our Skyblock XP and our Diamond Livid Head, which is going to be super dope. This is the run, the last one. Also, I need to make some inventory room to uh, actually claim my, my Livid Head, but man, I'm so hyped. I am so hyped. TY for runs, gamers. Uh, thank you very much. I do appreciate it. That right there is a thousand livid collection. Shout out to these fellas. <laughs> literally. Literally, bro. Oh my, that's too funny. Ooh, tier 4 Master Skull. I think I'm buying tier 4 Master Skulls, right? Am I? I need to remind myself. I am. I am, in fact, buying tier 4 Master Skulls. And with a fuming, 8 mil. I, I gotta buy that. But, uh... Okay, let me go ahead and make an inventory space after I grab these. Now, now I have stuff like in my stash. Uh, you know what? We're we're gonna sell this bow. Let's go ahead into collection, boss collection, livid. We're actually at the thousand diamond livid head and twenty five skyblock XP. Boom! There it is. Oh, I got one star too. Nice. Let's go. Hold up. Let me let me slap this thing on. There we go. Okay, new diamond head. Let's go. That's actually so sick. There we go. We now have three diamond heads and um, yeah, another 25 skyblock XP that puts us up to 53 out of 100. We're 46 out of all Iron Man players. And uh, I am done. TY for runs. Thank you very much. I do appreciate it, fellas. And um, yeah, I'll go ahead and leave these fellas. But there we go. That is huge. We actually have a, another boss collection completely done. We're at three of eight complete. Uh, obviously we have floor one, two, three, and four to do still. I kind of want to go back to floor four still because I still don't have a boomerang for my museum and I need spirit bones. Um, but then we have floor five, six, and seven all maxed out, which is just gorgeous. And then, uh, obviously we still have Kudra too. A lot of Kudra runs ahead of us. We aren't even a fifth of the way done yet, but those will come with time as we collect more keys and do more runs. But yeah, there we go. That's actually insane. We're done. We're done with three full floors. Obviously, uh, it's not our last time running those floors. We're going to have to go back at some point, multiple times actually, for whether it be Master Stars or um, Legion books or Overload books. I feel like floor five is that floor that we're probably going to end up returning to more than others. Like, I could see us doing more M5s in the future than even M6s. So, uh, well, I guess for Master Stars, honestly, we'll have to go back to all these floors. So, even though we're done, we are actually done. So that's like the, a little bit of the sad part. But hey, I'm happy with that. We got another diamond head. And um, yeah, I don't know where I'm keeping my other one. Maybe at my museum. Let's go and take a look quick. And I'm going to have to go through all these chests and um, sort through quite a few things. Where am I putting my diamond head? I have an M6 head somewhere. How do you find it? Okay, I found it. And I know why. I get to retire the uh, golden livid head and replace it with the diamond livid head. I'll have to like basically upgrade this thing a bunch at some point star it all that fun stuff but for the time being it's gonna stay one star because your boy needs uh diamond essence actually for for some other upgrades but let me go ahead and put in the floor five head floor six and floor seven these three golden heads have now officially all been retired beautiful you love to see it now the painful part spending some coins also i saw a shadow assassin cloak uh earlier not too bad um but not gonna be getting that take a free chest here I'm going to go and do this. This is going to be an expensive process, but I'm going to end up with a lot of books that I actually need. So it'll be, it'll be worthwhile, but it'll be pricey. Warpstone in there. We're going to have to pass on that. Free chest. Okay. Yeah, right now I'm at 228 mil. I've already spent like at least, I'd say 15 mil on chests I've already opened while doing these runs. I'm also not buying tier three skulls because... You can't get those in M7, and so I don't want to have, like, an extra Tier 3 Skull, you know? And I need to commit to getting three more of them, so we're going to pass on that. But, yeah, I'm going to go through all these, and I, I guess I'll buy Fumings, too, if there's nothing better to buy. So, 
yeah also last breath we saw earlier not too shabby but yeah let me go through these chests quick and uh, i'll be back with the damage hey there's that shadow fury we saw yesterday kind of insane um not gonna buy it it is tempting though it's like every time i see an rng drop i just like want to buy it even though i have no use for it literally none but it's still just like cool to see you know but yeah either way this is already getting pricey here's that recon i passed on gonna have to buy that now um and the dark orb but yeah six mil Ew, yikes but hey i'll use them at some point i think i'm gonna use a dungeon chess key on this one i have a legion book and an overload book like uh, if any run's gonna be worth it it's gonna be this one we'll use a dungeon chess key on that why not and then the last one here that i have to open the chest from okay good no more coins spent and then this last one i did open something yeah i got the tier four skull just making sure there's no legions lurking there's not okay it wasn't terrible but i mean we're down to 207 mil so i probably spent like 40 mil on chests over the course of actually i spent yeah i spent 43 mil on chests during this uh completing the m5 collection or levied collection whatever you want to call it i also have a bunch of stuff in here like this is all just filled with like whether it be legion overloads or some recoms obviously opening a bunch of free chests i've been buying fumings as well so i have a lot of organizing to do and um i'm gonna go ahead and do that but yeah honestly worth it we got a lot of good stuff we're gonna need okay and there's all the stuff i just bought i'd say that was pretty worth it eight legion books we got five overloads five fumings and a recom uh not too bad if i don't say so myself that's actually pretty good i'm gonna be honest like that's just like items i will definitely need and use at some point that i kind of just got like extra oh it's gonna really bother me having one extra fuming it can go in here for now without hot potato book but yeah, in terms of our legions, then I have a, a four, a three, and a two. Let me go ahead and combine these as much as I can. So we'll make we'll make a legion five book. Um, I'm assuming, like, I, I probably need to put these on crimson. I can't even lie. That's, like, what comes to mind first. But, yeah, I'll probably hold on to it for now until I know for sure. But that, that's probably the way I'm, I'm leaning. And then these overload books, may as well combine these up as well. At least into an overload three just for uh storage sake and yeah there we go we got a decent amount of legion books set aside now also it turns out i did actually have some extra overloads i've set aside and overload five and another overload one so now i have a little bit more i guess set aside that i don't know what to do with these one for all books i have a swarm five i'm saving so yeah we have some good uh ultimate enchant set aside not to mention like just the wasteland that is all these chests like these things are are filling up like th these whole back rows are like completely full and there's like good books in here too like swarms there's probably some legions in here as well just like all randomly tucked away and um yeah whenever i need an ultimate enchant i kind of just go and look through but something that's kind of cool is right now we are 45th out of all iron man players we are currently sitting at level 397 and 53 xp towards level 398 the crazy thing is that 43 iron man players are already level 400 so there's only one person ahead of me on their way to 400. So if we can like, I just want to be top 50, basically the level 400 on Iron Man. I think that would be sick. But yeah, right now we're in 45th. The, for, the closest I can be out of all Iron Man players to level 400 is 44. As uh, as I was saying, 43 people have already reached that milestone. So yeah, we're like in one of the next few people who should be hitting level 400 uh, for Iron Man players, which is insane. 247 more XP to go. I wish it was as simple as let me go do one thing and I have it done. It's not... But hey, we're getting there day by day. So unfortunately, that is going to be it for me today. I have a new PC to set up and uh, make sure it actually works after building it. But if you guys did end up enjoying today's video, don't forget to leave a like on it. Subscribe channel if you guys are new around here and you guys are excited for the grind to level 400. The conclusion is near. It's it's not a quick one, but hey, we're getting there day by day. So if you guys are enjoying these daily episodes, don't forget to leave a like. Let me know in the comments down below what else you would like to see me grind here on the Iron Man profile. And without further ado, can't wait to see you guys in the next one. Take care and peace out. Thank you.